Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, y'all. Welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. Um, I want to do this for those of y'all who are still questioning. It's very interesting. Uh, Mandisa and her passing. First of all, I want to say R.I.P. to Mandisa and um, to her family. I send my condolences. So nearly two weeks after the death of the former American Idol contestant, Mandisa Hunley, her father has shared his theory about how his daughter died. Franklin Police said that the 47-year-old was found inside a home on Beeman Drive on April 18th. John Hunley told the people gathered um, that uh, at Brentwood Baptist Church in Nashville to honor and celebrate her life, that her death was most likely due to her battle with COVID-19. Mandisa fell down in her bedroom. They found her on the floor. If you look from the rear of the bed, she was trying lying on her on the left side. It's clear that's where she was lying. There were a couple of big rugs there and some clothes. On the right side of the bed, front was this nightstand. I found her phone on the right side of the bed, and there was no way Mandisa could get around the bed. Go out there, get a phone to call for help. This is his speculation. As um, she said, Mandisa loved the Lord and the love, Lord loved Mandisa. So there's one thing you may not have known. She told me some time ago that she had gotten the COVID-19. And she had been weak for a long time trying to get over that. But she was trying to press through. Trying to press through. May she rest in peace now. Hmm. She was a young woman. I guess they were looking, uh, John also confirmed that Mandisa was not harming herself and no such scars were found on her body. In an interview with Fox News Digital, he said, I believe firmly that the detective believes and knows that she did not harm herself. They talked about scars and any type of bruises that may have been on her body. They looked for signs that she may have harmed herself. And there were no signs to any indicate anything that she had did to harm herself. The singer, simply known as Mandisa, rose to prominence during her 2006 American Idol run. She competed in the show's fifth season and landed in ninth place. After the show... Uh, Mandisa went on to have a celebrated career in Christian music where she released the first of her six albums in 2007 with her album Overcomers securing a Grammy Award in 2014. Hmm. Originally hailing from Citrus Heights, California, uh, Mandisa studied uh, vocal jazz at River American River College in Sacramento and at M- Music at Fisk University in Tennessee. She auditioned for American Idol in 2005, citing her musical influences as everyone from Def Leppard to Whitney Houston. During her first appearance on the show, Simon Kyle will often poke fun at her weight, 
do we have a bigger stage this year? He quipped on one occasion. When fellow host Paula Abdul rep that um remarked that her voice sounded French, Kyle jumped up and said that a more appropriate comparison would be to the entire country of France. That's cold. Later in the season, Mandisa finally responded to Kabul, and what she said is, I want to say to you um, is that, yes, you hurt me, and I cried, and it was painful. It really was. But I want you to know that I have forgiven you and that you don't need someone to apologize in order to forgive somebody. I figured that if Jesus could die so that all of my wrongs could be forgiven, then I can certainly extend some grace to you. Kyle at that point apologized and said he was humbled by her words. The singer revealed that she had lost a hundred pounds in the last six years since her appearance on that show. Uh, Mandisa also says she hired a personal trainer, had taken up Zumba in the wake of Kyle's hurtful and mean comments. Hmm. Her death was announced across the social media. Uh, we can confirm that Mandisa was found in her home, deceased. Um, at this time, we do not know the cause of death or any further details. Uh, read the statement. We ask for your prayers for her family and closeness circle of friends during this incredibly difficult time. So she did have um, according to her father, she had gotten weaker from her bout with COVID. And um, he believes that's probably the cause. But again, there has not been official word from the coroner. And uh, I guess we still wait and see for those of y'all who are interested what happened. All right, rest in power, Mandisa. And uh, may your family find, find some kind of peace. All right. If you like what you hear, family, subscribe and share my channel. And I will see you in the next video.